what's up y'all welcome back to another avid elementary recap this episode is episode five and the title of this episode is called juice and this was another bunny episode so let's get into the video Sorry, y'all. We had to hurry up and change the location because my tripod is acting up. But the episode opens up with Jacob running into Ava's office asking if they have cameras set up in the, um, I guess, the parking area or the outside area because his bike has been stolen. And when Ava asked for him to describe the suspect or the person that he saw, he tried to go around about without saying you know he was black so he tries to describe his um afro but he used uh other descriptive words and Ava was kind of looking at him like i know what you're really trying to say and then he decides like you know he picks up on it and decides like never mind i'm not even gonna go you know it is what it is i don't even need this little lock and key no more i don't even need anything my bike is gone it's gone and that was that And then after that, we see that Janine is in the cafeteria with a lot of the cafeteria workers. And it looks like that she's been in a meeting. It looks like she's, you know, pitching an idea and about some juice. And she's writing a raving about it. And we learned from one of the cafeteria workers that they have this annual uh, meeting about new menu options. And they, you know, vote on what they're going to keep, what they're going to, you know, not even mess with for the year. And most of the time, according to the cafeteria worker, the teachers know, like, they're not really invited, even though it says everyone come. It's really not for them. But we all know that Janine is all about participating and inviting herself in things. And they were annoyed by her as well. And she um, takes all of this new information that she's got from, you know, presenting this juice and learning about this this you know, a particular juice that the kids will be um, having in the school now. Um, she's asking advice about it to the teachers in the teacher's lounge and what they think about it. She's giving all of these nutritional facts. You know, it's um, less sugar. It's less this, it's less that. And everybody's just kind of like, it really don't matter to me. And, of course, we know Barbara, old school, she's just like, I don't know what's wrong with what we've been doing, it works, so you might as well just leave well enough alone. If it's not broke, don't fix it. But Janine's just like, you know what? I think this is going to be a good idea. I know the kids are going to love it. It tastes good. I love it. And it's going to be great. So they went on. They distributed the juices. And it started to cause some issues. Let's just say that. Meanwhile, through all this juice news... Uh, we get a little bit more time with Melissa's new uh, teacher's aide, Ashley. And we see that as Melissa is still in her combined class with second and third grade, she's in the middle of teaching and she constantly is being disrupted by her assistant. And she is heavily, heavily, heavily annoyed. She's like, what's up with this girl? Like, she's supposed to be helping me. Like, she's doing more harm than good. She's keeping me from teaching my class. She's making the kids laugh in inappropriate times. She's not, um, you know, just being a big distraction. Like, she's, she's worse than the second graders, according to Melissa. So, she's just like, I have to do something about this. Um, and then we get a little sidebar interview with the camera crew with Ashley, and we learn her last name, which... Excuse me, y'all. It's late, so I don't remember what she said her last name was. But again, she's that bubbly personality. She's all over the place. Like she said, she's old enough to know better, but she's still young enough to sheesh. And if y'all don't know what that is, that's just like something that was on TikTok or whatever. Um, she's been to four different schools in four different uh, four different years, I believe she said. And I just chuckled at that because that made me think of the school system and how you know they're they have bad employees or the employees that just be all over the place and they just keep recycling them in different places just to see if this place is somewhere they will fit if this place is somewhere they will fit and i'm sure that's what they did with ashley um because she is a lot and i would be heavily annoyed too um but she 
you know, her being in four different places in four years, she felt like it was a good thing. She was like, everybody wants a piece of her. But we all know it was just because she's, she's just all over the place, basically. And like I said, she's just causing a lot of disruption. She's causing a lot of distractions. The kids love her. The kids love her. They dig her. They like... Who is this lady? Like, she's cool. Like, she's she's funny. She's comical. She's making us laugh. She knows what's in trend. She knows what, um, you know, all the little cool sayings that we say and all the other stuff. So, they just, they, they're going up for her. And the whole time, Alyssa's just looking at her like, no, like, she's got to go. She's got to go. So, everybody's in the cafeteria. Everybody's looking around, monitoring all the students, and we see that the kids are testing the juices. They like the juices. The kids are looking at each other like, well, this is some good juice. And Janine's feeling all like, see, I told y'all, I told y'all, I love it. And then she goes to Barbara and just like, how are your kids feeling about it? Like, do you, do you like it? Have you tried it? And again, Barbara's still like, you know, on standing 10 toes down on her decision. Like, my kids are not drinking this juice. My kids are sticking with what they know. Just leave stuff alone. If it's not broke, don't fix it. And then Janine comes back with a rebuttal, like basically like, well, if it's broken and there's ways to be, you know, for it to be fixed, like we should be able to fix it. And her and Barbara going back and forth. And you could tell like Barbara is, which we all know that, um, that experienced teacher, the one who doesn't like to rock the boat, just deal with things the way she wants to deal with it. And you know just let it be and we and for me i know teachers like that but there also are the new generation of teachers who are just ready for change ready to switch things up and a lot of people are stuck in their ways and they don't know how to compromise and come together so it was a lot of that going on between um janine and barbara and um she basically told janine like my kids ain't trying that juice i'm not worried about that juice they sticking with what they know because ain't nothing wrong with it Y'all handle that because ain't nothing good going to come from it. And me and my kids are going to be far away from it. We want no parts. And then we soon see why she wanted no parts. Because as soon as the lunch period is over, Greg is in his class, Janine's in her class. All of a sudden, we see two students come back from the bathroom in Janine's class. And then another student says she has to go. And then Janine asks, like, who all needs to go to the bathroom? And, you know, they teach first and second grade and, and Barbara teaches kindergarten. So, we all know that the kids, like, their bladders are, are just constantly going and going and going. But it was this particular episode, their bladder was just going, 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 going. Like, Janine asked the class, like, who has to go? Everybody raised their hand. And she was like, you know what? I got to go too, so let's all go. As they're coming around the corner, they see Greg out in there. And he's got his entire class standing in the hallway. There's one... There's kids all over the place waiting to go to the bathroom. And then the little boy comes out and was like, uh-uh, something's wrong with the toilet. And while they're doing the bathroom duty, Melissa goes to Ava's office and is like, look, I need your help. Ashley is distraction. She is getting on my last nerve. And I need you to take her about my classroom and I'll just deal with it by myself. And she's just like, first of all, there has to be a paper trail if you want to complain. And I don't got time for that. I'll just come in there and observe. And Melissa's like, you, you're, you're going to observe my class? Like, you do your work? And Ava was like, why is everybody surprised? I'm a professional. Whole time, this professional has a, um, uh, online store going on in her office. Like, Ava is one of a kind. And she don't care. And that is the most hilarious thing about this entire show. Like, she is in her own world. She's going to do her own thing. But she does got a little soft spot for the teachers. And she helps in a little, you know, little, little ways. But like she said, why is everybody surprised that I like to help? So, um, Melissa's is like, all right, you want to come in and observe? Come on in and observe so you can see what I'm talking about so we can get this on up out of here. And I don't think you're going to understand how much... Everything went the opposite the direction in which Melissa wanted it to go. Ava comes in in the midst of Melissa teaching yet again her combined second and third grade classes. She's trying to teach them about how many yards is in a foot and how many foot is in a yard. And then I said foot is in a yard. How many feet is in a yard? And then we see Ashley with a skeleton and 
teaching about the body, yaddy, 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 and the kids just cracking up laughing. They're distracting what Melissa's trying to do, and in the midst of that, in walked Ava, and she's kind of sitting back like, oh, okay, I jiggle her. Like, I like her. Like, she reminds me of me, and then their personalities just, boop, they click, and they're talking about um, the shirt that Ashley has on that was once Ava's that Ashley just brought off online, and they just connect, and it's just like, you know, long lost sisters, you know what I'm saying? And Melissa was like, oh my gosh, like, y'all, what have I got myself into? Like, this is not what I called you in here to do. And I don't know what the heck is going on, but it's this is not going to work. It's not going to work. And all the while, um, Ava just basically tells her, like, there's really nothing that I could do. Like, she's perfect. I like her. She even lets Ashley become a, a, a like a personal assistant to her on top of her doing things um, for Melissa's class. And Melissa's like, wait, what? How do you get her to do this and that and this and that? And she can't even stick to the checklist that I gave her to do to keep her busy. She can't even do what I asked her to do without being easily distract distracted. Like, what is really going on? And Ava's just like, look, you're just going to have to deal um, she's great. I'm not going to get rid of her. Like, sorry. And, of course, we know Melissa's not happy about it. And she's just walking around pissed. So now that all the toilets are being used, um, Janine and Greg are like, you know, Barbara has a, a free period. She doesn't have class right now. We see that nobody's in her room. Let's just try to sneak in and out of the bathroom. So in they come. And Barbara walks in. She sees another line. Somebody, they've been knocking on this door the whole time. Somebody is in there, not opening the door, not answering them. Once again, the same little boy from the beginning of the episode comes out and says, The toilet's broken. There's something wrong with the toilet. And that just infuriates Barbara even more. And she goes off yet again and just makes Janine feel this big. And they have to go, like I said, up to the third floor. There's a bunch of kids out there. And, and Janine just comes up after, you know, being just basically like read for filth by Barbara and apologizes and just basically tells her like, yo, I really, really, really like thought that this was a good idea but if you knew that this wasn't a good idea why didn't you tell me or why did you explain to me the why behind this being a mistake to me because if you just tell me no I'm still gonna do it anyway but if I don't really know step by step like why if you don't break it down to me I'll never be able to get it like you know and then and she asked Barbara like I'm I'm basically you know I'm, I'm a new teacher I'm a fresh teacher I'm just trying to do what I can and that's why we asked and Barbara was just you know saying like I get asked why this why that with a whole bunch of kindergartners all day you all are grown I shouldn't have to babysit y'all I shouldn't have to explain everything you should already know but then again we don't know that's why we ask questions and that's basically what Janine was telling her and so Barbara it kind of like made a little light bulb go off like a little thinking moment for Barbara and she um, was just like you know now that all these toilets are messed up Janine this is the opportune time for you to come up with an idea to fix these are the moments where you should fix it and Janine was just like, well, how help, you know, how can I do it? And then Barbara had an idea. She went and got Melissa's bat and then she went and took some frustration out and ended up just, you know, just feeling better after that. And because prior to, you know, their conversation, Janine tried to help fix the situation by calling the city. But because it wasn't every single toilet that was messed up and only a few, they said that they wouldn't be able to come until next week. But Barbara, she did what she had to do so that that situation can be an emergency situation and get them there quicker. And Janine was like, oh my gosh, like this is what I'm talking about. Like you got all the answers. You got all the answers. Like this is what I need. And and Barbara was like, you know what? I, I see what you're saying. I understand like my bad and I'm going to be more open. I'm going to, you know, give counsel. I'm going to be able to share some, some teacher advice and tips and tricks and wisdom with you all so that you all can grow to be um, these like on the fly, you know, um, in a pinch type of thinkers so just like I am and just learn you know to leave well enough alone when you can and do what you can with what you have and that's basically like Barbara's MO throughout you know these seasons is just like if it ain't broke 
don't fix it. And in the midst of that, we see again that Melissa, she's just ticked off. She's pissed. And she walks in the teacher's lounge after um, uh, she sees Jacob and Ashley in there, you know, doing the little grind to beat. Y'all remember the grind to beat? Do do. Do 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 Y'all remember that? Oh my gosh, everybody was gone off of that beat. Everybody was gonna be back in the day. But anyway, she's in there teaching Jacob that. In comes Melissa with this attitude, and she basically like just tells um Ashley, like, go and do this, 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 and that. And she has a conversation with Jacob, like, you know what? Like, I'm upset. And Jacob's like, I can tell. And he's just like what's what's bothering you what's 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 eating you what's what's going on and she just like basically just flat out was just like how is it that Ava gets her to to run her online store and do all this for her but I can't even get her to um grade papers I can't get her to do things that I have for her on this to-do list that I have like how can I do that and he basically just told her Ava's engaging with her. She's not just bossing her around. She's getting to know her. She's talking to her like a regular person. She's not just, you know, this is work and you my sister and you go and you do this and leave me alone. Like, that's not what she's doing. And again, another light bulb goes off in Melissa's mind this time. And she's like, you, you know what? I, I I see where you're, where you're going with this. Like, okay, I can give it a try. So at the end of the episode, we see that she is um, walking in the classroom and Ashley is again teaching the children the grind and beat. And so she engages in a conversation. She asks her, you know, like, what, what beat is this? Like, where'd you get this from? And, you know, she's talking to her, you know, little little conversation back and forth. And Jacob walks by and gives her like, yeah, that's right. Like, you're doing a good job. Keep it up. And, um, and then after that, she comes up with this plan to, again, compromise and both meet in the middle. So she was like, how about every day at a particular time you can do this this and that with the kids but for right now can you do this for me and she's like yeah that's fine and you know that is basically like what we all have to do not only in schools not only on our jobs not only but in our homes or strange like meet people where they are like quit trying to get them to think like you and do like you like right then and there people have to be teachable and people who are older have to be able to um humble themselves and teach so that you know everybody can can learn and everybody can engage and everybody can get along and i mean this and and getting to know somebody will truly truly help you to see like even though our personalities may be different, we do have things in common. And I feel like that's going to cause for Ashley and Melissa to get close. Um, but it is so funny that she is literally like the same exact personality type as Ava. And I, and I just know that the more and more we see her in these episodes, the more and more we're going to fall in love with the assistant Ashley. And I'm just... I'm just happy that she's in these episodes. I was wondering where she went, but I'm glad she's back. So, in the end, all the bathrooms are still messed up. The city will be there because now it's an emergency situation. And we see Jacob walking in like, whew, you know, tired, a little like ran, you know, like he just came from somewhere. And he just basically told Ava and Melissa that he had to run to the gas station and use the bathroom. But they was trying to, you know, not let him do it until he bought some scratch-offs. And so Melissa snatched one and starts scratching off. And then Ava is kind of like engaging in the conversation but still trying to keep herself under wraps because we find out that she had a little secret little space where she goes to use the bathroom and clear her mind um, in the basement. And it's like decked out. It's luxurious. And it's hilarious. Because I hate using the same bathrooms as the students. And all the other people. I literally just said this last week. I wish there was like a off, you know, a bathroom off somewhere. Fully furnished. Just for me. When I have to go to the bathroom. Because the kids be turning the bathrooms up. And so do the adults. <laughs> so there. Um, but that was pretty much the episode, y'all. Just 
I, I, my takeaway from this episode was just basically, like I said, to engage with people, get to know people, um, be teachable, no matter if you're, you feel like, you know, you got more education than somebody or more time on the job than somebody and somebody comes in, get to know them, learn from them so that we can all get along and make, you know, our workspace, our homes, whatever, a better environment for everybody to, to thrive in. So that's it thank y'all for watching another Abbott elementary recap i'm rgb thank you for watching my channel see y'all next week